This week, we're gonna be focusing on core strengthening. And our first position we'll assume is called a low plank. So we're gonna need to take it down onto our mat. We'll assume our low plank position with the elbows firmly on the floor, hands together. And then we're gonna take it all, all the way up onto our toes. The wider your feet, the easier this is. The narrower, the more challenging. So decide what works best for you. Or you can come down onto your knees as another modification. Now that we're in our plank position, I want you to try and hold this for 30 seconds, keeping your abdomen engaged. All right. Let's try to do two sets of our low plank, holding for 30 seconds each set. Do these three to four times a week to achieve optimal results. Next up in our core segment, we have reverse crunches. So we'll take it back down onto the mat. We'll get into position by lying down with our arms down by our sides. You want your palms facing the floor. Then we're gonna bring our legs up so the bottoms of your feet are parallel with the ceiling. All we're gonna do from here, engaging our lower abs, is you're gonna lift your hips up off the floor, bringing your feet towards the ceiling. I want you to just be aware that you're not swinging your legs back and forth. You wanna lift your hips up. And then slowly roll your bottom back down to the floor. So, I want you to do two sets of 12 repetitions, three to four times a week. That way you'll see the optimal results for your lower abs. Next in our core segment, we have bicycle crunches. So, let's get back down onto our mats. We're gonna lie down with our back against the mat. Bring your hands behind your head so your elbows are out to the side. You do not want your elbows up toward the ceiling. Now all you're gonna do, lift your shoulders up. Make sure you're engaging your abs here. We're gonna bring our right elbow towards the left knee and reverse. Make sure your shoulders stay lifted and you're extending the opposite leg out. Keeping your legs from touching the floor. Make sure that you keep your shoulders lifted off the floor to make sure that you're getting that crunch motion, that you can feel this in your, in your abs. Now, you'll find a comfortable pace, and I want you to try to continue your bicycle crunches for about 30 seconds. So, I want you to do two sets of bicycle crunches, 30 seconds per set. Do that three to four times a week to achieve optimal results. 